Hello everybody, Arturo Johnson here. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you the three ways that you can have clients chasing you for life insurance. So if you stay to the end of this video, I'm gonna show you, show you three steps um, to become an expert in your field, to have clients chasing you instead of the other way around. And I'm gonna give you three actionable st uh, tips as well as um, a bonus if you stick around to the end of this video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. And so the first um, tip that I want to give you all, well, first of all, let me take a step back. So um, a lot of times when we, um, as insurance agents, what we're taught is to go out and see any and everybody, right? Um, we make a P200, uh, we reach out to our friends and family, you know, we're excited about our new opportunity in the business and um, what that what that translates into is us being a generalist, right? So we have just transitioned from a new position. And now that we are agents, we're on fire and we just want to share with everyone. But the truth of the matter is, is everyone knows we're new and they expect us to reach out to them. Right. And so what does that mean? That means that they know that we have very minimal or general knowledge of, of what we're doing. And we've had, um, limited to no success so far. And then, um, you know, we're just kind of trying everything and throwing a little bit at the wall to see if it sticks. And that's what we call being a gen generalist. And so the first thing that, um, the, the first tip to getting people to, to chasing you for life insurance is to, to not be a generalist. And most advisors and agents, right, they're not advisors. Um, they're, you know, cold callers, right? They're glorified telemarketers and door knockers. Um, most of them, they, they, they don't have a niche, right? And so that's what you want to do. You must pick a niche. In order to become an expert at anything, you must pick a specific area to first remove, uh, move from being a generalist to a specialist, right? And then that's how you become an expert. And the reason why you want to do that is because experts, you know, they make more money and they have more fun doing it. For example, um, the generalist doctor, right? They're seeing patients all day in this funky little cubicle, right? And they're seeing patients for COVID, they're seeing patients for the measles, uh, for a rash, all of these things. And, you know, it kind of sucks. I mean, for a, for a doctor, uh, you know, they're making a good living, but it kind of sucks because they're just seen as a person who sees any and everyone. But the brain surgeon, right, after the patient has been checked in, they've been referred to them, right? They've been sought out. Um, you can only get an appointment with them unless it's like something very serious or you've been referred to them by another physician. And then the only thing that the neurosurgeon does, the specialist, they come in, um, the patient's already been prepped, vital signs, they've been hooked up, they've been sedated. The neurosurgeon comes in, does its procedure for the, you know, like that 15 minutes, and then they're done and they're either off to the next patient in a couple of hours or they're off to the golf courses, right? And so the first thing we want to do is we want to not be a generalist and we want to niche down, we want to pick a niche, a group of people um, that we know we have, a, um, that has a problem that we can solve, right? And so that's how, um, you know, you really, really attract people to you is because you want to um, start to position yourself as an expert authority. And then the second way to have clients chasing you for life insurance is you know, to have a predictable way to generate appointments, right? And so we all know the traditional methods, right? Power 200, asking for referrals, cold calling, and door knocking. And don't get me wrong, right? Those things still work today. But what's the problem with those things is, is they're inefficient, um, they're not predictable, and the results that you get from them are not repeatable, right? 
for example, you can get 10 referrals that turn into five clients this month, right? From that one person or multiple people that you ask. Well, you do that same effort the next month, right? Get 10 referrals. Do you think you're going to get five clients from it? No. And the reason why is, is that the, your, your, um, your appointments or your clients, when you rely on referrals, are only as strong as the referrer, right? And so if that person, which is the third party, doesn't tee you up or introduce you in a fashion that puts you in that expert light, then there's no business that's going to come from that. And if you're only relying on that sole referrer, well, what's the, what's the problem with that? They only know so many quality people that they're willing to refer you um, out before it kind of gets into that weird, weird place where you're only relying on them to grow your business. And that's the next thing is you don't want to just be relying on something or someone else in order for you to grow your business. Because if that thing doesn't happen, that thing goes down, then you're only relying on that to grow your business and then you're up to creek, right? And so what you want to do is you want to have a predictable way to generate appointments. And that's why you want to get a system, right? You want to have something that um, reaches out, a system that is working 24-7, a machine that, has, that is constantly prospecting for you so that you're not spending 80% of your time prospecting and 20% of your time in meetings. You're spending 20% of your time processing applications and 80% of your time in fact finders and closes. And then um, the third way to have clients chasing you for life insurance is have a predictable way, right, to, to convert appointments or strangers into applications, right? So most agents, they operate from what I call hope marketing, right? They get to the office, they get down on one knee and they pray, and I hope to God that somebody picks up the phone when I call um, out of this list of 200 that I'm going to dial on Mondays and Thursdays to set an appointment um, just so I can sit with them, right? And, you know, this is a shotgun approach, right? The spray and pray. And it, again, you know, not knocking it because it works, but it's not the most efficient way to, to do things. And so, um, you know, once you get those appointments, then you've got to be able to convert them, right? And so then once you get that appointment, now it's, okay, you know, most agents are treating every single appointment like a brand new one, right? They're going into this process shooting from the hip and they don't have a proven method or mechanism that they can do over and over again um, to get the same results. And in our course, you know, we teach, you know, this conversion um, mechanism that allows agents to write business in one single 45 minute phone call. And so what does that do? Right. You're an expert at your, um, you know, you're seen as an expert in your industry, right? You have a predictable way to generate appointments instead of relying on traditional methods um, that aren't predictable and consistent. And then you have um, a high quality way to convert strangers into clients. So when you have those things, now you have a system to where you can have clients coming to you, right? And so the bonus tip to that is to get great results and have social proof, right? You want to have a process to where people are speaking out on your behalf, right? Where you're incentivized about this to either do referrals or to just, you know, write a testimonial to post or create a video where you hop on a call and share with people how you've impacted their life, right? These stories people will see and they will draw parallels on them on their own that, wow, that could be me or wow, that sounds like me. And this is what will attract people to you. And it also uh, subconsciously plants the idea into people's heads that you are the person that can, can help solve their problem. And then there's one more bonus tip that I have. And that bonus tip is to invest into expert mentorship, right? And so what you want to do is you want to find someone that is where you are, I mean, where you want to be right? That, that started where you are and you want to get close to them and find out what they're doing. And you want to invest in yourself to be a student first and learn from them 
so that you don't have to reinvent the wheel. You don't have to go through all of the heartaches that they went through. You don't have to waste all the time that they wasted. You don't have to spend all the money that they, they wasted. And ultimately, that's how you're going to get the best results, right, is, is learning from the mistakes of others instead of going through that path yourself, which is going to save you a lot of time. It's going to save you a lot of energy. Um, it's going to keep you um, motivated and excited to, to do what you need to do. And so um, from there, this is the best way to have clients chasing you. So if you thought this was helpful, feel free to click the link below and subscribe to this YouTube channel, as well as if you're a life insurance agent, um, click the link below and watch. I did have a free, uh, I do have a free uh, link below where you can watch a video where I go through these things in grave detail and you can book a call after watching the video. So without further ado, go ahead and subscribe to this channel, like this video if you thought it was awesome, as well as uh, if you're a life insurance agent and you're looking for consistency and predictability in your business, um, click the link below, watch the, the free training that I have and book a call and we'll see if we can help you. All right. Thank you.